Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. Kitty's up here with me, laying down here. She's been playing. I had to play with her a little bit, get her calmed down some. She's having fun. She's all over the table. Okay. Don't knock anything over, Kitty. Okay, on our prayer request, pray for David. He has liver cancer. He went to Duke, and they said they couldn't do anything for him. Glenda Pierce is in the hospital for the fourth time with pneumonia. Pray she gets better soon. Oh, yeah, one more time on this. Mike Payne had major surgery last Thursday. Pray all went well. And Joyce is in intensive care and may only have weeks to live. Um, Patricia Anderson has not been able to quit smoking so she can have surgery. Pray God will give her the strength to quit. Joe's friend Rusty Sellers passed away from COVID Saturday. His wife Ramona also has it. Please pray for her and the families. That's just awful. The oldest member of Diane Clark's family died Saturday night. Keep the family in your prayers. Uh, Sherry is out of the hospital and back home recovering. I spoke to her yesterday. Uh, that's great. She had double pneumonia and, and COVID too. <laughs> It already makes it hard to breathe and stuff. Can you imagine uh, if you had a double pneumonia? Tweet's daughter is looking for an apartment. Pray she finds a nice, safe one that's not too much. Okay. Kitty, you're just all over. Our scripture of the day is from Hebrews 6, 9 through 12. She decided to jump down now. Hebrews 6, 9 through 12. <clears throat> Even though we speak like this, dear friends, we are convinced of better things in your case. The, thing, the things that have to do with salvation. God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people and continue to help them. We want each of you to show this same diligence to the very end so that what you hope for may be fully realized. We do not want you to become lazy, but to imitate those who through faith and patience inherit what has been promised. Amen. Okay, our devotion today is entitled, Doing Our Role. When two of my grandchildren tried out for the musical Alice in Wonderland Jr., their hearts were set on getting leading roles. Maggie wanted to be young Alice, and Katie thought Matilda would be a good role. But they were chosen to be flowers, not exactly a ticket to Broadway. Yet my daughter said the girls were excited for their friends who got the leading roles, their joy seemed greater cheering for their friends and sharing in their excitement. What a picture of how our interactions with each other in the body of Christ should look. Every local church has what might be considered key roles, but it also needs the flowers, the ones who do vital but not so high profile work. If others get roles we desire, may we choose to encourage them even as we passionately fulfill the roles God has given us. In fact, helping and encouraging others is a way to show love for him. Hebrews 6.10 says, God will not forget your work and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people. And no gift from his hand is unimportant. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others 
as faithful stewards of God's grace. Imagine a church of encouragers diligently using their God-given gifts to his honor. That makes for joy. Do you know someone who received a position, task, or role you wanted, yet could use your encouragement? Why is it good to thank God for the task that he's given you in serving others? Sovereign God, help me not to focus on others' roles, but to serve you in a sacred calling you've given me. Enable me to help others by a word of encouragement for what they do for you. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs, Lord. And help anybody out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this morning's devotions. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that. So you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Uh, it's a nice day again. And it's been fairly warm. See, if this, if that little um, cold spell hadn't come through where it got, you know, it frosted and uh, killed all those, all my peppers, all my tomatoes, but that one and, and some other things out there, eggplant. And, uh, if that hadn't happened, they'd still be growing right now because it's not been that, that cold overnight. And it wasn't. It normally isn't. I, I, that was very early for us to get uh, to get a, a freeze like that. Uh, but it's it's in the uh, mid to upper 70s. Seemed like every day, and I don't think it. I'd have to look, but I, I would say it just got into like 40s or upper 40s or 50s probably overnight. So. Well, at least that'll help the stuff that's out there because I had to take down all those cages and stuff. So now it would be easier, much easier to cover them than it was because I had to attach everything to the cages and everything to make sure it didn't blow, blow off of them. And uh, that's what got to be a pain doing all that. So now that it's all basically flat you know, with the things that's out there that's growing, uh, I can just easily cover that up with some plastic. So uh, hopefully I won't have to much, but I'd like to have a big harvest of turnips and all these winter things, you know. The beets, they're not doing that great, but I sure would like to have a big harvest that, that I can share with everybody because that's what, that's what I've done all, all summer, so I'll continue. Uh, Mom's probably waiting for some of them turnips, aren't, turnips, aren't you, Mom? In the greens all right everybody I'll go for now and I'll do my walk here after a while uh, so everybody have a great day and God bless <laughs>